Some of the rarest and weirdest creatures that have ever walked or crawled across the planet Earth? Let's find out more about these awesome animals. From a bodybuilding racing dog to an insect that looks like a Barbie accessory, here are 15 animals that are only born once in a thousand years. Number 15. The Saber-Toothed Tiger It was the teeth that named this cat that also made the long-extinct saber-toothed tiger so deadly. Sometimes the saber tooth, or Smilodon, and what a smile it had, would grow those super long canine teeth to a massive foot long. And they weren't just pointy, they were also serrated, like knives. Just imagine a foot long steak knife. Oh, and it's attached to a very carnivorous and extremely hungry 660 pound cat. Then you'll get the idea. Looking at the old bones of the animal that went extinct about 10,000 years ago, scientists reckon that the shape of the skull and jaw meant that the saber-toothed tiger probably killed its prey by literally stabbing it to death. You know, like a slasher movie. Think Psycho or Michael Myers. Except that they probably hunted in packs, so there'd be like Five sets of knives, slashing and stabbing, ah! It turns out that these massive felines didn't have any natural predators in the wild, so they were most likely hunted into extinction by humans. Although it may have been a kill or be kill sort of situation, just look at the size of that overbite. It's enough to give an orthodontist nightmares. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Giant Wetapunga Almost extinct, the Wetapunga is a huge insect, kind of like a flightless cricket that was found to have survived only on the island of Little Barrier off the coast of New Zealand's North Island. These amazingly rare insects are thought to have been victims of a messed up food chain where they were overrun by predators. In the first half of the 20th century, there were loads of feral cats on Little Barrier Island, and these cats controlled the population of rodents, especially the Polynesian rat. So when people came along and decided to rid the island of its feral cat population, that's when they basically invited the rats to go wild. The rats gobbled up the weta all night long, and then during the day, they were eaten by saddleback birds. So it's no wonder that these guys nearly packed it all in. Then, as usually happens, some people figured out what was going on and decided to get rid of the rats. The numbers of the Weta slowly increased, and the insect has now been introduced into other predator-free environments. I don't know, but all of this fiddling about with the food chain seems a little bit risky to me. Are we going to be overrun by a ton of gigantic insects now? Number 13. Double Muscled Whippet a rare condition called Bully Whippet Syndrome can make the usually skinny breed of dog into a massive muscled animal that looks like it's been at the gym and ripping tank tops at Muscle Beach. This genetic syndrome causes a literal double muscling of the dog, and it may make it look like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of Whippets. It generally doesn't seem to interfere with the dog's ability to play or run, but it probably does rule them out from racing. Unfortunately, although the huge muscles it has make it seem strong, the dog still only has a regular sized whippet heart and lungs. This means that all that extra weight and effort of having those double muscles also puts an additional strain on the dog's cardiac system and could cause the dog a premature death. This extraordinary condition has led to some positive news in the scientific research community though. It's believed that the genetic codes of dogs with the condition may actually help to find solutions for people who suffer from muscular dystrophy. This double muscle syndrome has also been found in other animals, including sheep, cattle, mice, and also some people. Number 12. The Snake with Legs Everyone enjoys a good origin story, but what about the tale of how the snake came to crawl on its belly and discarded its legs? It's 
may seem a little bit biblical, but there is actually some science to it. How snakes would evolve from being a kind of lizard to a legless serpent had long been a big old mystery to scientists, but in 2015, a discovery would bring some new clues to the table. The discovery of a perfectly preserved fossilized snake in Brazil showed that the animal had four legs. It was a teeny little 20 centimeters long, but a perfect example of a young snake however, with a difference. This creature had two very small front legs, only measuring about one centimeter each, and two rear legs. These little itty bitty legs were so well preserved that the joints were actually visible, offering clues as to how the snake came to evolve without them. Scientists believe that the fossil could be 70 million years old, dating back to the Crustaceous period when snakes actually had legs. The shape of the snake's skull and jaw shows that they were already in the process of evolving into the creatures that we recognize today, and scientists reckon that when snakes stopped using their little legs for walking, they started using them in different ways, perhaps for even grabbing onto prey, or perhaps for jazz hands. Number 11. The Croc Buffalo A remote village in Thailand witnessed an unusual and scary discovery in 2015, the birth of what they believed to be a crocodile buffalo. It seems a bit unlikely to be fair. The poor and unfortunate creature was born with what was presumed to be scaly reptile skin and a kind of elongated head, a bit like the shape of a crocodile's snout. The creature was birthed by a buffalo, but villagers actually believed it was somehow the offspring of a crocodile and a buffalo together. Sadly, the little animal would die shortly after being born. It was then displayed in a slightly creepy way, just all laid out on a table, because the local people had hoped that the unusual animal would bring good luck to the village. Now, there may not be an obvious explanation for the buffalo's unexpected appearance, with scaly skin and a crocodile snout not really being the standard for a buffalo, but you'd probably just had a condition that gave it these features and then unfortunately killed it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 10. Double-Headed Pig It's the stuff of comic books, or stories that are set in radioactive hotspots. But this double-headed pig? Is it just a load of old hogwash? Or is there something to the twisty tail? Occasionally, stories do come out of animals being born with two heads or extra legs. It actually does happen from time to time. So although surprising, the pig farmer's discovery that one of the piglets in his sow's latest litter had been born with two snouts is not all that unique. This condition actually has a name, diprospus, and it's what scientists call an embryonic development resulting in an animal being born with two heads. This little piggy was born with three eyes, two noses, and two mouths. And the rest of the litter? Well, they were all equipped with the regular numbers of each. The little piglet did cause quite a stir amongst locals as news would spread throughout the village. Loads of people began to turn up to see the strange animal, with one visitor even offering to purchase the pig. The farmer's son asked that they keep it though, and so that way he could raise it himself. Number 9. Glowing Cats now, how might a glowing cat be the key to solving a global health crisis? Sounds kind of bizarre, but apparently these cats have been taking part in medical experiments which involve giving the cat the gene that produces a fluorescent protein, the kind that some jellyfish produce in their bodies naturally. Now, it's part of a larger study into treating AIDS by marking cells to monitor altered genes more easily. So these glowing kitties are a walking medical research lab. And their incredible glow? Well, it's all in the name of science to help work on projects to figure out whether or not they can confer cells to the cats in order to protect them from feline immunodeficiency virus. If they can, it'll be progress towards developing more solutions in the fight against HIV in people. The spooky glow might look like these kitties are part of a dark ride at Disney World, but they're advancing medical science rather than dressing up for Halloween although they probably wouldn't be too out of place on the back of a broomstick. Number 8. 
golden seahorses. Whatever will people think of next? It's as if humans have reached the end of ideas and are just bunging up any old fever dream in the lab. You'll have to understand what I mean when you hear about these golden seahorses. It sounds kind of like something that's pretty normal. I mean, things are often given names based on their obvious features, color, or shape. But these living seahorses, they're actually made out of gold. They were genetically engineered in a Vietnamese lab by crossing genes from a light-emitting jellyfish with miniature granules of real gold. And this combination would then be injected into seahorse eggs. Now honestly, it does blow my mind. Of all the genetic tinkering that's been imagined, you've just got to ask yourself, what's with the idea behind this one? It does turn out that it kind of worked. The baby seahorses have gold in them, and they glitter and everything. The general thinking is that they're going to be considered very valuable, and their value will only increase as they grow. But really, what's next? Diamond-encrusted ponies? Number 7. Octagoat You have got to be kidding me in this one. Is it a spider? An octopus? Perhaps it's a squid. No, it's, it's an octagoat. When a goat would give birth to a kid with eight legs in a village in India, it surprised the locals who flocked to see the thing, calling it an animal miracle. Animal experts have weighed in on the once in a blue moon event, stating that this unusual number of legs was actually caused by an altered gene or perhaps a mutation. And although it's very rare, it has happened before. In 2014, a baby goat was born in Croatia with eight legs. And on that particular occasion, vets would examine the little animal, deciding that the extra legs were the result of a conjoining with an underdeveloped twin in utero. So there's every chance that it was a similar kind of thing with the octagote in India. Sadly, however, these special animals that are born with unusual bodies have less chance of survival as they grow. So let's hope this little leggy one was one of the lucky ones. Number six, two-headed snake. When two environmental scientists, who were both named Dave, found an incredibly rare two-headed snake in the forests of New Jersey, the most obvious thing to do was name the unusual thing Double Dave. Oh, and then they had a look at it to try and understand how it happened, of course. Turns out that Double Dave is a newborn timber rattlesnake, which is venomous, and a pit viper. And the snake had two fully formed heads, which is unusual, because often when snakes are born with two heads, one of their heads is usually smaller and not complete. Double Dave, however, had a fully equipped twin set of heads, both with eyes and a mouth, and a tongue in each. Weird! This condition is known as polycephaly, and it's a similar kind of thing as to what happens when conjoined twins are formed. The embryo begins to split, like when twins develop, but then stops before it's completely divided. It's really difficult for snakes with this condition to survive in the wild. They're easy prey for all kinds of predators as they're slow moving, perhaps because they can't decide which way to go. <laughs> Anyways, all jokes aside, the snakes are also known to actually fight each other. The two heads believe as if they're actually separate and in competition for food. It's been even known that one head will actually kill the other in an effort to win the fight. Number 5. The Human-Faced Goat When a little black goat would be born in India, some people saw the face of a human in the baby animal. Its unusual appearance created quite a stir, with some people even taking to worshipping it as an incarnation of a god. It's true that the goat did have a face unlike any other goat, with kind of a flattened appearance, and I guess if you maybe squint a little bit, stand on your head, and look at it sideways, you could say that it was a little bit humanish. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The condition that causes these kinds of facial features is called cyclopia. It often results in a complete lack of a nose and eyes that have not moved into their usual position on the face, sometimes making the appearance of one large central eye like a cyclops. 
In animals, it's most likely caused by an unsuspecting pregnant animal that grazes on a plant that contains a toxin called cyclobamine. The toxin prevents the brain from developing properly in unborn fetuses, causing the unusual facial features that the little goat would be born with. Sadly, this condition is usually fatal, and most babies and animals that develop the condition in utero don't survive long enough to even be born. Number 4. The Albino Alligator an albino alligator is one of the most rare creatures you can find. There are only about an estimated 100 of them in the whole world. Albinism is a rare condition that can occur in any living being, resulting in the body being unable to produce melanin, the stuff that gives your skin and other parts of your body its color. An albino alligator looks as though it has pink eyes, but this is really because the eyes themselves have no pigment as well. So it's actually the blood vessels showing through that give them the pink color. These rare creatures are seldom seen in the wild. The condition means that they find it difficult to camouflage their natural environment, which makes a young albino alligator very vulnerable, and often they don't see their way into adulthood. Also, they're a prized trophy amongst many alligator hunters. So for one to survive takes a miracle all in itself. This is why albino alligators are more likely to be seen in captivity, where they're protected from predators and humans alike. That way they can survive long enough to reach maturity. There's also another condition that affects alligators to make them appear white. It's called leucism, a condition that results in a lack of pigmentation, although there is a little in patches and most strikingly in bright blue eyes. Special or unusual creatures are often shrouded in mythology and spookiness, with some people believing that if you look into an albino alligator's eyes, it's going to bring you good luck. Number 3. One-Eyed Albino Shark Now there's something distinctly fishy about this one. Indonesian fishermen hauled in a shark that they say was accidentally caught in their net, which is rather whiffy of an explanation if you ask me. Anyway, they were surprised to discover that the shark actually had three babies inside, and one of these baby sharks doo -doo 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 -doo, was completely white and had one eye in the middle of its head like a cyclops. Well, we've seen creatures like this before, haven't we? The baby shark was most likely albino, and that would cause the lack of pigment, and its unusual eye was probably the result of cyclopia, its development not allowing the complete forming of its facial features. The saddest part of it all is that the baby sharks would have been still developing when the mother was caught and they were removed. So although the one-eyed shark is definitely interesting, none of these baby sharks had the chance to do 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 Although there are examples of other albino sharks and also cyclops baby sharks discovered in very similar circumstances, there's just something about this one that all seems a little bit made up. What do you think? It's definitely a way to draw attention to yourself, but then there are those awkward questions about the circumstances in which this one-eyed albino shark came into your hands. It smells a bit reminiscent of haddock, but perhaps I'm just an old cynic. Number 2. Two-Faced Cats Two-faced cats? <laughs> no, not the kind that say mean things about you behind your back. These kitties? Well, they literally have two faces on one cat. We've seen some two-headed creatures so far on our journey, the weird scape of unusual animals, and this type of mutation is a little bit different from the old double-headed snake or possibly even two-snouted pig. Scientists believe that the condition is caused by genetic issues, but it's still an area where little is fully understood and much remains a mystery. These two-faced cats are actually incredibly rare, and where they do exist, they often don't make it much longer than a day or two on Earth. They're often abandoned or even killed by their mother. So these remarkable kittens usually need to be hand-reared by humans, and this can be a lot of work. Known as a Janus cat, Janus was a Roman god with two faces. The most famous of these felines was Frank and Louis. And Frank and Louis lived to be an incredible 15 years old. 
In 2020, a kitten with two faces was born in Oregon named Biscuits and Gravy, and this little kitten has been taken into the family, being hand-reared by its owners. And they're hoping that their round-the-clock care will give the kitten a better chance at a long life. That's two hungry little mouths to feed. Number 1. Pink Grasshopper if Barbie designed a grasshopper, this is probably how it would turn out. But however, this is actually a real grasshopper, just hopping around being itself. As rare as hen's teeth, these pink grasshoppers are hardly ever seen. Scientists believe that the pink grasshopper rarely reaches maturity, and the bright pink color makes the insects really stand out against the green shades of leaves and grasses putting them at a much bigger risk of being spotted by and ultimately eaten by potential predators, even the more short-sighted ones. The usual camouflage of grasshoppers to blend in with mostly grass and other plant environments is what allows them to live relatively safely. If they start going around drawing attention to themselves, they're going to be noticed, and that usually spells trouble for an animal in the lower part of the food chain. So rare are the pink versions of these insects that it's not properly even understood why they're such a fetching shade of fuchsia. One theory is that these particular grasshoppers develop their color from living in fields of flowers, where they of course are able to blend in better amongst the brighter colors. And if you do happen to set your eyes upon one of these blushing bugs, you'll be among a few who were chosen to witness such a rare sight. And maybe you should go play the lottery, cause that's one lucky thing to happen. With many of these wild and unusual discoveries more likely to be found in a Ripley's Believe It or Not attraction, what do you think about them? Do you believe it or not? Let me know in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.